Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 2nd of 2024 is titled Mars Passing By. So what do we see here? Well, here we see 16 images of Mars stretched across the sky there. And Mars being a planet does change its position relative to the stars over time. And of course, that is because it is a part of our own solar system and moving relative to Earth. So as we take a picture of it each day, we can see that it slowly does move relative to the stars as it goes from one end of this photo to the other over the course of just a little more than two weeks. And this is how planets first got their names and were identified as wanderers, wandering stars that moved among the fixed stars. So the other stars in the sky, the constellations that we'd see would keep the same pattern day after day and year after year. However, the planets would continually move through those and that's how the five original planets were found. And that would be Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Now here we actually see two of those planets, Mars, the red object we can see, and the other one just above towards the lower right hand side is the planet Uranus. Uranus was the first planet to be discovered, at least where we know of the discoverer. The other planets were known since ancient times. So the only first one we know of the discoverer is the uh, planet Uranus, which was discovered in the late 1700s by William Herschel, who first identified it as an unusual object and then finally tracked its orbit and found out that it was a planet orbiting our sun. Now, the other things that we see here, of course, are stars within our own Milky Way galaxy. And very prominent among them is the Pleiades star cluster, the set of bright blue stars toward the upper center of the frame. Now that is a small open star cluster containing many stars there. So that's an example of an open or relatively young star cluster. And we can tell that because it has a lot of blue stars and the blue stars don't live as long as the other types of stars. Blue stars are relatively short lived by comparison and very few stars like that last more than tens of millions to a hundred million years. So they're there, meaning that they must have formed relatively recently compared to things like the age of our own sun, which is about 5 billion years old. Now, here we saw two planets passing close together, and that was Mars and Uranus. But Mars continues to move at greater distances. And in just a couple of weeks on August the 14th, it will pass within a third of a degree of the planet Jupiter. Now a third of a degree is a little bit smaller than the diameter of the full moon. So these two will appear very close together in the night sky on that day. And of course, they're both continually moving to e toward one another. So they'll be relatively close for a few days before they start to spread out and move away from each other once again. So that was our picture of the day for August 2nd of 2024. It was titled Mars Passing By. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Road Trip. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.